I've been using TurboCAD for years now and have created thousands of architectural drawings for the UK property sector. We use TurboCAD for elevation, layout uh, and design plans for planning applications. We also use it for loft conversions, extensions, new builds and refurbishment projects. TurboCAD is a very stable product and offers excellent value for money. Uh, if you're new to CAD design, we recommend you download and get a free one month trial. Hi and welcome to how to use CAD. Today we're going to look at setting up TurboCAD as if we just downloaded it for the first time. As you can see when the program loads the default setup is black with tools to all sides offering up various choices. Before we can use any of the tools we need to open up a file and for that we can go to the top left, click on file, click on new and let's select new from scratch so that we can explore the setup. Once you have a file open you will see that some of the tools around the screen are now available for use but before we try out any of them let's have a look at the darker light setup and customize the program a little. Best way of bringing up the customize options menu is to right click the empty space to the top right of the screen and once you do that you can see you're now in a position to make a few selections. Up comes the pop-up and if we go straight to the options tab, click on styles and themes, click on the TurboCAD classic and as you can see we have gone from dark to light which is my preferred option when it comes to working with TurboCAD. To customize further I like to reduce the size of the tool icons and for that I move down to the button size option and slide it all the way over to 16. Now you'll note that the icons got smaller on the side. This will give me a slightly larger screen and I still have icons that I can view okay. If you find the icons are a bit hard to view then use the slider to create your desired option. The next bit of customizing is based around the tool options and for that I go back up and choose palettes followed by tools and as you can see this brings up a tool palette to the right of the screen. If we explore the new tool palette for a moment the first thing you will notice is that it can be detached and moved around the screen. To bring it back to its regular position double click the top bar. If we take a look at the new tool palette you will see that it has snap modes at the top and these are very important tools when it comes to drawing anything. It's really important that you set these up properly but we'll discuss that on a later tutorial. Next are the line tools which are easily the most used tools with various options. Note that some of the options won't work until you actually draw something. All the sections of the tool palette including circle, arc, curve, double line, multi-line and dimension have their own short tutorials. So search our playlist to find out more about each element. Now be mindful that throughout TurboCAD there are various ways of doing the same thing. For example if I wanted to draw a line I could select the draw option and select single line and there's my line. I could also move to the left side, select the line option and draw a line. I could also pop over here to the right side palette, select the line option and draw a line. As you work your way through TurboCAD you will soon find that there are usually a few options to carry out any task and over time you will find out what works best for you especially on tasks that you need to repeat again and again. Now when it comes to tools you use the most it would be a great idea to place them as convenient as possible and for that I am going to show you how to move them to the right click button on your mouse. At the moment if you place your mouse on the screen and right click 
you will see a pop-up toolbox that really doesn't include any of the tools that you are likely to be using if you are new to TurboCAD. So let's make some changes and create a toolbox that makes far more sense. So let's go to the top of the screen, select Tools, Workspace, Customize. And let's pick pop-up toolbars. So we want to remove um, what's coming up at the moment, uh, which is these little pop-ups. And we're going to use tools that we use a lot whilst drawing. So circle and eclipse line. Let's just work on those two. Remember, you can come back anytime and add more. Uh, but just to give you an idea how this works, uh, we've added line tools and circle. So we get back out. Now when we right click the mouse tools, as you can see, we have the right tools at our fingertips. I suggest you play around at this and add and remove a few tools to help you remember the process. So, if you liked a new setup and you want to have it available each time you use TurboCAD, you should go to Options, select Program Setup, and come down and tick this little box that says Last Window Layout. To ensure that TurboCAD keeps your settings, so you don't have to make changes every time you open TurboCAD. Now that's about it for this tutorial. The next recommended tutorial is called Page Setup Scale and Print, where you will learn how to set up your page correctly, choose a scale for your drawing and print to PDF or printer. However, you can of course jump in anywhere you want and use any of our easy to follow tutorials for rapid advancement with CAD. If you have questions or you want to know anything in particular about using TurboCAD, just post a question in the comments box. To stay up to date and get notified on new video posts, you should click the subscribe slash like button. Look forward to chatting with you on our next video on how to use CAD. Over the next few months, How to Use CAD will be creating tutorials on how to design extensions, loft conversions, kitchens, bathrooms, new builds, and a wide range of refurbishment projects. These kind of tutorials will give you a real-life insight into how we do a measured survey, create existing layout plans, and then walk you through the way we create a new layout to satisfy the most demanding clients. We will also show you how to save money on larger projects through the use of creative design and a good understanding of the building costs. In effect, you will be looking over our shoulder and see how our projects come to life. Once we are happy with the new layouts, we will then walk you through the planning application process and show you how to provide all you need for a valid planning application. Once we have a planning approval, we will need to prepare building regulation drawings. And for this phase, we will teach you how to create detailed drawings and detailed sections for foundations, floors, roofs, electrical, heating, drainage, and everything else you need to get approval from building control. These kind of CAD tutorials are simply not available on YouTube or anywhere else. They will be an enormous help for anyone interested in developing their CAD skills as well as showing them the process of creating and developing their building projects.